Hey guys, what's up? My name's Eric. Come from Esme and Eric's YouTube channel. This is officially my uh, first podcast, and um, you guys, uh, it, it's been in the works. It's a little bit hard, uh, difficult. Um, you can find me on Podomatics or wherever you got Apple, wherever you guys are finding your podcast. You guys find Sa this guy. All right, make sure you guys find, get with Eric. I, I'm gonna follow the social issues of Kainai. And I got one issue right now that's really bugging me. You know, I had to do this video today ASAP, like as in today. Um, I don't have uh, quite all the equipment yet to get going for my podcast. So don't mind the sound, you guys. If there's a little bit of a, a echo in the background, just, I'll, I'm going to fix that in the next couple episodes. But um, till today, I want to do an episode on housing. <clears throat> I have an issue with Busted Water Chief. A lot of people say... You can't change the system, you know, you can't change the people that are in it. And that's a total lie. The system that we got and we live with Wesley Water Chief, it's gotta change. Pick and choose. You know, I, I buried a brother yesterday, and that's the casket I'm gonna put in front of this video here, you know. That's my little brother Cash. You know, he should have been at home cooking hash browns right now, instead of on the street fighting addiction, just because you guys needed housing for St. Paul's. You guys could have gave him back a house and stand off. You guys didn't need this little kid to go off, find the streets, and then get conquered by them. Wesley Water Chief, housing, blood tribe. I don't care what you guys think of my podcast or me, you know. All I know is that I have issues and I'll put them out there. And any of these issues get to me, well, you guys are best, you guys are going to hear about it. So check out this podcast and all the social issues that are plaguing this reserve. But you guys, this is episode one officially, and uh, let's get going here. I'll elaborate a little bit more. So, okay, my my brothers had a house, hey, and they have an older brother who passed away, Travis, hey, uh, he OD'd. <clears throat> Travis had some uh, issues, you know, dealing with mental health, hey. Cops got brought there, then they took the house away from the boys, and they said, oh, we're building some houses there, and we're going to find you guys a house. Tell today the boys are down the street in Calgary, and we didn't know. My brother was in a fucking morgue for a few weeks, you know, unidentified. You know, what's this boy doing in Calgary when he should be in, in Lethbridge, at, or should be on the reserve at home, cooking his breakfast, making his hash browns, just like his uncle Eric taught him. But instead, he's resting in peace with the rest of them. You know, this poor boy, he didn't need to go out like that. You know, Leslie, this is what you're doing to the reserve with this pick and choose. Pick out, even choose with the elders, you know, not only with the young, with the youth, but with the elders, you know, that's that's really shameful. But you guys, make sure, and I'm going to elaborate a little bit more on my episode two, but until then, you guys, you know, I had to, I had to spread this issue and this awareness for my brother Cass, the RIP, we just buried him yesterday. And, you know, it's just unfair, you know, he had a house that, that Penny left him that house and, and housing knows that, you know, just because their brother came out, had some mental health, which you guys didn't address or fix, you know, I guess just locked him up, you know, and then let this poor guy, you know, my, my brother was, everybody knows, everybody that knows Cassidy Wolfcomb knows that he's a good kid. He doesn't deserve to be on the street hustling, bustling. You know, until he lost his life, you know. And that's the stuff, Leslie, that you're putting on you're putting on the reserve with this attitude. While you take our money and our funds and bring the six of God to your other family. Let them run their businesses off our money. You know, and a lot of people don't speak up on that, but I will. This is my pad my podcast is gonna involve a lot of these issues, you guys. So make sure link in with me. Make sure you guys like subscribe all that stuff even on my channel you guys uh it's my next youtube channel you know check out all the content on there i got a lot of these issues too on there but i want to make this official guys uh, this guy that's my podcast you know this is officially episode number one i'm gonna do episode number two with my partner you know he's been busy he's a working man but um till then i want you guys to let this issue sink in your head and i'll let you guys know what my podcast about you know peace out you guys